Paradise Motorsports. Welcome back to Paradise Motorsports News. And now it's time for News News. Nissan announced their limited production GTR Spec V. The Spec V sports a carbon fiber, rear spoiler, grille, and brake ducts. The Spec V is available in only one color, which is Ultimate Black Opal. This Spec V is a two seater with the Caro carbon fiber bucket seats. Regular GTRs have a small rear seat. The new high gear boost controller increases boost to generate more torque in the mid to high speed range. What does that mean? More power. Other features include a titanium exhaust system, carbon ceramic brakes just like Porsche, lightweight, forged aluminum wheels to enhance braking, cornering and of course acceleration. Where can one buy the new GTR Spec V? Anyone can get it. So all you have to do is fly to Japan and pay 16 million yen. It goes on sale at only 7 Nissan dealers in Japan for February 2009. The price in Japan is around 16 million yen or 175,000 US before shipping and local taxes. Paradise Motorsports. Now in regional motorsports news. Nevis has jumped into the racing industry with a brand new facility. The facility or track is called the St. James Raceway. Once again, our racing aficionado, Andre Critchlow, was at the scene. Let's see what he got in Nevis. Right, Paradise Motor Sports, you know we're here and one of the things we have to do is show our support. And how are we going to do that? Honorable Minister, this pack is for you. All right? That is a magazine that we produce in the Caribbean, 100% West Indian, that is all local. This is some of the efforts that we're going to be putting into making this thing a success in Nevis. And for the rest of the crew, this is yours, sir. This is yours, sir. Thank you. All right, Paradise Motorsports is in Nevis, and we're definitely supporting this effort, doing it right on the tracks. A lot of action. We'll come back with the Honorable Hector in a little later, because right now all of us want to go and see some racing, and that's what's going to happen here now. Don't go anywhere, Paradise Motorsports. Every day, all day long. Go! Well, Paradise Motorsports here, and we're here with the Honorable Hector and the Premier himself. We need to find out what is the formula. I mean, Nevis has come from behind in this race and has jumped out in front with a track like this. Tell us what's the secret. I'll start with you, Honorable Hector. Think of an idea, convince your cabinet, convince your Premier that the idea is good, the country would benefit, and you would have that dream becoming a reality. Now I know that sounds very simple from somebody who has, a, I could say, an intrinsic passion for the sport. But let's hear from the other side. I mean, Mr. Premier, tell me what has convinced the government to go this road with regard to another form of entertainment? Well, you know, um, when we were in opposition, when we were campaigning, we felt that young people were not getting enough attention and we decided that we will do everything to bring young people into the mainstream of the action and of development of a country. And we also looked at the fact that there are temptations, crime temptations, delinquency temptations, especially among our boys. And we saw that the, the boys were racing without a track. They were racing without a track. So Mr. Hector came up with the idea, as he said, we examined it. My training is in economics. I examined it from that point of view. Said we could make some money here and have employment. And at the same time, you know, get involved with the young people and put them on a positive course. And that's the formula. Now, with that being the formula, I know there's another component that I am particularly interested in, the spin-off industries, the hotels, the taxi services, the food. Do you see this impacting positively? And what have you put in place to cater for, I have to say, an explosion of visitors to the island? Well, the only one area that we, I think we have to do some work is the mechanic area in terms of highly trained mechanics who can deal with these super engines. 
and we will have to do that work very quickly. But everything else in place, because everything else in place. Everything else in place. This Nevis is all about tourism, upmarket tourism. And you bring in 500 people, we'll be able to host them. No, I, I bring in a thousand, we'll have to put them in some houses, but we'll still, we, we'll still house them. <laughs> but as I was telling you, when this spreads throughout the Caribbean, 500 would be from mm -hmm. one country. Eh? Yes. And I know Trinidad alone had about 150 people interested. Yes. They kind of sent some scouts up, they're going to be looking at it to see what they have. Mm -hmm. Another, one other thing too, with regard to the logistics. Now, I know that there are a lot of challenges with moving vehicles mm -hmm. throughout the islands. Um, what would be your suggestions that you can put in place, not only for Nevis, but for the rest of the region? What advice would you lend to make that a lot easier? Well, it would seem to me that the barges might be the best answer in terms of moving people backward and forward. We have a, f a ferry, a vehicle ferry between Sinkis and Nevis. There, there's only one vessel right now, but another one will be coming shortly. And so we'll have two vessels moving people backward and forward. We have um, a very good port at Long Point yes. um, with a lots of spaces. So if you want to come in a few days early, there's no problem in terms of storage. No advantages. Now it seems as though you all have all the answers to this thing, boy. This thing was well thought out, apparently, boy. <laughs> that is so true. Um, I would say too that you yourself have been a link here. Mm -hmm. We have to link with the other associations. We couldn't accommodate Antigua this time simply because of. Uh, the logistics of time exactly. and getting a last minute rush. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, if we can link the association, BVI, Antigua, Paradise in Trinidad, certainly that is the answer. And uh, together we can bargain, together we can ensure that that transport problem is being looked at and we can have things moving as far as Santo Domingo here. Yeah. Things moving from Nevis right back to the south.